Welcome back, everybody, to 70s and Dying Alpha 20. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we need to start thinking about Horde 28. So we really have two overriding options. Option one is for me to sneeze. <coughs> Actually, that wasn't option one. That was... <coughs> Jeez. <coughs> option 1A. Uh, anyway, okay, sorry about that. I've been having a, a lot of nose issues. Uh, lately, uh, but it's fortunately not COVID because I've been tested twice in the last couple weeks and it's not that. So it's probably just a normal cold or allergies or something. Anyway, enough about that. So I have completed building the fence, at least this iteration of it. I'm still in the process of upgrading it, however. And uh, I also put one of these uh, doors in here for our entry uh, into the backyard. And I am planning on doing more with this later on, but uh, for now, uh, we're in pretty good shape. So I've got, I've been upgrading the bottom two rows to concrete. And later on, uh, we can even upgrade those to steel. And it looks like we left off uh, right here uh, with the concrete upgrades. But I think I'm going to hold off on using any more concrete on the wall until after the Horde night. So, um, and then at some point, you know, <coughs> excuse me, I want to get the, probably get the upper bars upgraded to cobble. I don't think we really need to go past cobble because they're not going to really be taking too many hits. Um, you know, the zombies can crawl up on each other's shoulders and and hit on them, but it's not going to be a, a constant or a frequent thing. Uh, but, you know, we'll see. If, if it does appear like that's the case, then we will uh, adjust as needed. Okay, so anyway... Let's see, what <clears throat> what else have I done? I don't think I've really done much more on the house uh, since the last episode. It's pretty much the same as it was before. And um, I did start a mine, however. So um, that mine is right here, and it basically goes down this way and then uh, goes down out to the north there. Found a small pocket of iron and coal, but not a big one. So um, I'm just going to probably keep going northwards or at some point branch off uh you know to the west or the east and uh, keep going i don't really want to dig up from here because i want <coughs> excuse me i want to make sure there's plenty of of terrain between me and the zombos so see what level are we at here uh we are at elevation it's really hard to see i think yeah that says 39 meters right there so um yeah, so we started a mine, and, you know, I need tons of stone, so mining the stone itself is, is actually useful. Uh, for points, I believe I put another point into, or maybe even two more points into Motherload since the last time I looked at points with you guys. Uh, I want to get Motherload and probably even 69 are just maxed out as soon as possible just because it's just so useful. However, um, I'm thinking about... Um, maybe putting a point, uh, I, we eventually need to put a point <clears throat> to Deadeye and to Demolitions Expert and Lucky Looter and Salvage. So we have some stuff in Perception we do need to pay attention to. Um, all that stuff is just super useful. And if we're going to be a hunter, which we are, um, you know, we're going to need to get Deadeye up. Uh, but for the Horde Knight, I'd like to see if we can get to um, the first level in Demolitions Expert so that we can make pipe bombs, but also have the extra, um, uh, you know, the extra bonuses that this gives us in terms of the effectiveness of our bombs. Uh, because ultimately, I want to make an explosive designed base, because as anybody who's been watching me over the last, you know, several series, those explosive bases just bring in a ton of XP. And so they're really the way to go uh, if you want to maximize XP on Horde Knight. And they're generally pretty simple, too. They're not generally complicated bases. Okay, so I've been um, watching uh, other... I watch other YouTubers, you know, play various games, Seven Days to Die being one of them. And I've been watching um, uh, both Games for Kicks and also KJ48. And those guys have come up with some pretty cool base ideas. And I'm thinking that maybe I might want to um, borrow uh, from some of their ideas and do something similar. Uh, the basic concept that they're that they're doing is they're making bases that that are multi-part bases and that can be quickly uh, disconnected. Uh, the parts can be disconnected so that the zombies' pathing changes, and I, I really like that idea. That idea in, intrigues me. 
<clears throat> and so, um, you know, because we're really good right now with melee, um, I'm thinking about doing maybe a, a dual based design, one that's a melee focused and one that's explosive focused. Um, and maybe even, you know, something, uh, even adding more onto it later. So it's really kind of a question now of where I want to do that. We could just do it in the snow biome. The thing about the snow biome, though, is that I still occasionally get cold. I'm, I, you know, I need a, a few more insulated miners, or I need to get the beanie or something like that, uh, preferably the beanie mod. Um, so I just don't want to be in the middle of, of an intense hard night and then all of a sudden get cold because then that starts affecting other things like our stamina, our calorie consumption, and that sort of thing. So the other option would be, um, that we just go, you know, to the east here and build a horde base just in the forest biome. Um, and then we don't, you know, then we don't have to contend with the cold. <clears throat> I don't know if, the, the other thing to consider about that, though, and I don't know if this matters or not, but, you know, we have loot stage 90 here in the snow, whereas if we go to the forest, that's going to go way down. Um, and that, I would think that would affect the the yellow bag drops from the zombies. I mean, I don't see why it wouldn't. So that would be a, a very compelling reason to stay in the snow biome and just build our horde base here. So um, I think, yeah, I think that's probably what we're going to do. we got a bear over there. I think that's what we're going to do. I think we're just going to build it here in the snow biome. And, of course, we need to make sure that it's far enough away from the house to where the horde doesn't spawn into the house um, when we make it. So because I've already started a tunnel digging north, um, maybe it would make sense for us to you know, connect that tunnel to the base and have, you know, build it somewhere to the north here a little ways. <clears throat> so I'd like to be, at, you know, at least I'd say a minimum of 100 meters out from the house. <clears throat> so the horde doesn't spawn in the house, uh, maybe even a little further. So we could, you know, we could build maybe somewhere, maybe go like 150 meters just to really you know, be on the safe side. That's probably much further than we need to go, but again, like I said, just to be on the safe side here. Um, So that would mean we would make the base somewhere up here. Now, I kind of don't like the fact that it's up on a hill, though. Oh, look, there's a nitrate node right there. And a chicken. I think the chicken came a little too close to us and spotted us. A little bastard. Yeah, okay, well, forget about him. I got lots of meat anyway. So, yeah, I, I mean, hmm, I don't like the fact necessarily that this is up on a hill, mostly because if we, you know, that tunnel that we dug, it's just going to have to be that much higher to get up into the base. And uh, that idea doesn't super appeal to me. So maybe we instead, you know, make it to the east or so. Uh, there's a coal node. Uh, actually, I have that marked. Anyway, <clears throat> let's see if we can get a honey out of here. I've I've been uh, harvesting a shitload of stumps, and I am not getting any honey. It's super. They've really nerfed the uh, drop rate on those. Okay, let's go back towards the house and then kind of look to the east or the south, or even the west and see if the ground stays flatter about 150-ish meters out. Because, again, I, I kind of don't want to be up on a hill with this. Okay, so if we go to the east, and let's get about 150 meters out from the house, the terrain actually drops down a little bit here. Which isn't necessarily a problem. Or 85 meters away. Yeah, you know what? I don't think we need to be 150 meters away. I think 100 is probably plenty. Maybe some of you even know what the actual distance is that the horde spawns in on Horde Night. But you know, just kind of looking at things, I'm, I'm, I can't imagine they would spawn in 100 meters away from us. So this general vicinity could probably work okay. There's a little bit of a hill here, but that's not a big deal. Okay, if we just look at the map, 
Yeah, so you're going to run into a hill in the south. Ooh, this looks pretty flat out to the west, though. Yeah, let's go look. Let's go look to the west. We just have to be careful of that bear. I don't want to run into him out in the open here. I should probably have my mini bike with me. Yeah, this I kind of like this. If we if we just go kind of due west of the base, how far away are we? Um, yeah, 89 meters. So right about in here, <clears throat> this is pretty flat-ish. <laughs> I think it'll it should work okay. Maybe we could even just go down into this area here. I like it to be more or less directly west of the base. It doesn't have to be exactly directly west, but. Um, we're talking probably right about here then. It's a little further than 100 meters, but I mean, more XP and more stone for us just to dig out here, you know? And yeah, there, there's lots of room here. I'm, I think I like this spot here. Okay, so uh, we've kind of established that. So now um, I don't have a real specific idea in mind, but it's probably going to be very similar to what we've already done. The one thing, though, that I'm going to do different than what they're, they've done, and when I say they, I mean Games for Kicks and, and Cage, is it, both of them have built their base way up in the air. And I kind of like to, to actually build down instead of up so much. Um, you know, one advantage to doing that, of course, though, is that they do have, you know, the advantage of the zombies having to jump uh, over blocks and stuff. Uh, base, you know, and I've used that base design quite a bit myself too. But for what I have in mind, and especially you know when we use those quarter pulls like we do, uh, we don't have a problem with crowd control because um, you know even when the zombies are streaming into us really fast, you know seventy five percent of them fall off those poles and cycle back around anyway. So I want to keep this you know pretty simple, pretty simple. But here's the basic concept of what I'm thinking. So let's get some blocks here. Um, and we're going to probably, yeah, we're going to definitely dig what I'm thinking is going to end up being a, a large pit, um, and then have kind of a base on each end of that pit. One that'll be melee focused and one that'll be explosive focused. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, but the way that they're making them detached if you haven't seen the videos is they're basically doing something like this um let's just build this up a little bit just to just to get you the concept i'm gonna have to really you know do some off camera thinking about the details uh, but i just want to show you the, the the concept here so if we make a hatch uh, let's make two hatches actually okay and then uh so what we do is we put uh, one hatch here, and we want to make it on face, like so. And then one hatch here, like so. And when they're open, the bases are connected, and then when they're closed, then they're not. And there's no path here for the AI. So, let you know, one thing that you could do then is you could have your base over here, and let's say that it's about to collapse. You know, it's just, it's about ready, you're about ready to lose it. Well, what you could do is run over here and just close the hatches. You've completely broken the path from that base to this one, and now you have a whole new base that you can shift all the zombos over to. So I, re I really like that concept. So I think we're going to do something similar, but I just have to figure out exactly how I'm going to uh, do it. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm kind of thinking rather than going up, we go down instead, um, particularly you know because we want a pit base for explosives for sure um and the main difference between the pit base and the melee base will be that the melee base will have a way for the zombos to path back out and re and cycle back along the path you know like we've already built whereas the explosive base will trap them um and they, they just fall in and they can't get out and then we kill them with explosives and as long as we kill them quickly enough they shouldn't be able to destroy uh the pit before they die i mean that's the concept anyway <laughs> And we might even, you know, make like double, uh, ultimately make like double steel walls uh, inside of that pit, too. 
Man, that rabbit is just elusive as all get out, isn't he? Okay, so that's that kind of gives you the basic idea. So I basically have a day and a half to, to come up with something. Uh, I wrote, don't really want to go back and use the other base one more time. I mean, I could. I'd have to bring a bunch of concrete with me and reinforce it, but I'd rather, you know, build something here. But what that means is it's probably going to take all of the time I have left between now and the horde uh, to get this set up. So uh, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and cut the camera here and get started on this, and then I'll bring you guys back uh, with an update as we progress. Okay, so I'll see you in a bit. All right, guys, I'm back uh, with a, just a little bit of an update for you as I'm thinking through here. Um, I don't think I'm going to... Well, I'm going to build the melee part of the base first because that we, we already know we can do and do effectively. And depending upon how time goes, um, you know, if we can get the explosive pit built too, we'll do that. But let's focus on the melee base first so we can have something ready to go. So this is going to be, like I said, it's going to be very similar to, to what we had at the other base. Um, very similar, except for with a couple of exceptions. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my corridor that I'm going to stand in a little bit longer and just one block wide because I don't need more than just one block. And then I'm going to put plates on here. Uh, so let's go here. I'm not going to actually place it, but I just want to get you the basic idea, right? Um, so let's do an on face. Okay, so so I'm going to put plates all along here on this side. This This is going to be concrete. And then we're going to do plates all along on this side, too. And that's effectively going to attach um, the the central area to the side of the block. Again, very similar to what we did before. But it gives me a little more space than we had at the other base, too. So, so Zombos can't stand on the side and whack on, you know, the chamber that we're inside of. And then, you know, uh, we'll have a plate there, and then we can stack and just create a plate wall around us, too, to protect us from, you know, cop spit and stuff like that. Okay, so that's pretty much what that's going to be. And then it's just going to be a matter, really, of deciding where the return ramp will be. And I'm thinking I might actually make the return ramp in front. So we'll have, like, a, let's see, one, two, we'll have, like, a three-block wide ramp coming up this way to cycle around, and then a three uh three block wide ramp circling up this way to come back around and keep the zombies closer to me and encourage them to come back up and repath to me rather than um you know getting stuck down there and starting to beat on blocks and things like that um these three blocks here will be i'm going to put three posts in instead of two just to give uh us a, a little bit better crowd control because this you know the hordes are going to be bigger and meaner and um with three of them to have to traverse uh even more of them will fall off and and you know, that way we shouldn't get overwhelmed. Inside the chamber here, the plan will be that, you know, we'll put up our usual, you know, quarter block um, obstruction, you know, like we've, like we've been using. And, um, and then what I'm going to do too, just as an extra, to buy us a little extra time in case they actually breach the quarter pulls, is I'll put some hatches down. I'll probably just upgrade them to iron and not steel because the steel ones are really thick. Um, and, you know, if it looks like they're actually going to break through, that I can I can throw the hatch up just to buy me enough time to come over here and, you know, get to the other side. Um, in fact, I mean, we almost don't even need those hatches. This is such an easy jump. I guess the only thing that could possibly happen is if I was, you know, super encumbered from loot. And that's another thing we have to figure out, too, is where we're going to put loot. Um, and it might not make the jump, so I don't know. We'll put the hatches on there. There's no reason not to. It just makes things a little bit safer. Okay, so hopefully that gives you a little bit better idea of the design here. Again, it is very similar to what we've already done. It's just a little bit different, a little bit bigger, and um, you know, should be should be good. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get working on this, and then uh, again, I'll bring you back with another update as things progress. All right, guys, we are pretty much done with digging uh, the outline of our pit. Uh, so we are six blocks down. We want to be six blocks down because uh, we need to be five blocks away from demos when they explode. Um, so, yeah, that's why we went six blocks down. I'm debating whether or not I want to take the center part down layer by layer or just collapse it. Um, the reason I would do it layer by layer is because I'd get more resources and XP, but it would be faster just to collapse it. Uh, we do still have 27 and all of 28, so... I was thinking I only had one day left, but I actually have two days left, so I really would have time to do that. 
and it would be nice, you know, to get the stone for the concrete and the resources. So I think I will. I think I'm going to go ahead and just take that down um, uh, layer by layer. But of course, I'll do that off camera. Okay, so that, let's see. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. Um, and remember, though, the bottom, the bottom is I'm going to line that with concrete, too. So that's why it's actually seven, but it's really going to be... It, it, when it's all said and done... There's going to be a gap of five blocks between us. Um, also, you know, this is going to start at the dirt level, not at the snow level, too. So that's why it looks like it's sunk down even another block. Okay, so, yeah, I think I'm going to take this down uh, layer by layer just to get a little more XP and get uh, some more resources. But it is almost nighttime, and it is really dangerous in the snow biome at night just because all the zombies come out. And because Feral Sense is on, you know, they're, they're going to come after me. So... I think we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. Well, I could probably shave another couple of layers off first. And then I'm, what I'm going to do overnight is go uh, just mine again, um, you know, for the XP and the resources as usual. And then in the morning, uh, we'll come back and we'll start working on, uh, continue working rather, on the base. So I'll see you guys in the morning. It's 9 o'clock on day 27, and we finally have the pit entirely dug out uh, for the melee side of the base anyways. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start working on the front wall. So let's pick that up. And this is going to be, um, these are all going to go here. And I thought about, you know, making cobblestone and then upgrading, and that would give more XP. But I think I want to just get to it here um, and, yeah, get started building. So let's get this part in first. Okay, now, um, I think we're going to, yeah, we should finish this whole wall out, but I want to make sure that I have enough, um, blocks to do everything I want to do. So let's start to fill this in down here. I do have quite a bit more concrete though on me, actually. So if I go here and we go recipes, 119. Let's make let's make another 50 uh, of those of these blocks here. Okay, and we'll put these two in. Uh, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna build a three block wide ramp on both sides in the front. So let me, uh, yeah, let me get that dug out and then I'll bring you back. All right, guys, so we got uh, the ramp mostly done. Um, I'm gonna, I'll probably fill this stuff in here uh, too with concrete later, uh, but that's not super critical right now. And I got started on the floor here, too, uh, and I'm making more concrete blocks here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start working on the sides. Now, before I commit to this, I want to just double check and make sure I set everything up correctly. We'll just do it down below here. So we're going to put a block there, and we're going to put a block there, and these are <clears throat> these are going to run all the way up. They'll be the sides of the, of the base. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to have... Our center blocks here, this is going to be our, the corridor that we're going to stand inside of. Okay, so let's just build this out like maybe three blocks wide to make sure I got the pattern correctly. Uh, or correct, rather. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go to plates. And we're going to on-face these. Like so. And then, so so these two sides are, are technically connected to each other in terms of, of SI support. Uh, but there's still a very large gap in there that zombies will fall through. And then likewise, we'll do the same thing on this side. Um, and this, just imagine that this is, this is the top uh, ridge up there, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to build a chamber for us that's going to be probably actually three high um, because if it's too high my head's right up against the bars and um, the, the vultures can still reach in and 
nab me. So, so basically what we'll do is we'll put one more on top of there and then we'll put, uh, you know, wood bars across the top so we can still shoot up at the vultures uh, directly from the top. So it looks like I have the spacing down correctly and we should be good. So let's go ahead and uh, pick this up, uh, pick all this stuff up. Actually, we don't need it there anymore. Just, just you know, double checking the measurements one last time is basically what it boils down to. Get all that picked up. It's so awesome that we can pick the, everything back up again and not just certain shapes and not have to destroy them. Okay, so let's build up the first column here. And we'll do the same thing on this side. Here, let's just come up here. I have more concrete, a lot more concrete cooking up at the base, by the way. Okay, so that's good. Now, um, we have to remember, too, that this is all going to be filled in as well. But let's just put those there for the moment. Uh, this will all be filled in the floor. Um, and then we're going to have the top piece here. So this piece here is going to be a plate. Uh, let me actually... Divide those up a little bit. Okay, so we're going to make this a plate. And we want it to be on face. And that's going to go there. And then what we need is here. We'll put that plate there too. Okay. Um, then what I need is... Let's get these blocks here again for a second. And uh, turn these back into just normal frames for the moment and this is just going to be a temporary support while we're putting this together okay so that's one two three four five blocks right okay all right so now this one we're going to put here and then we're going to put a plate there and put a plate there okay so theoretically now those two plates should be holding each other up and those two plates should be holding each other up and if i take this away it shouldn't collapse there we go okay beautiful beautiful okay i love it all right now let's take a side step here real quick and i want um one, two, three. I want three of those, and we're going to change these to our wonderful quarter pull center. You know, we could even do the half pull centered. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I don't think it matters, because uh, I think they're going to have the same hit points no matter what. Okay, and then we're going to put these right smack dab in the center, all the way at the top. You know what? Let's do that from the top so I don't screw it up. Okay, so right in the center here, one, two, and three. Whoops. Just like we did uh, in the other base. We only had two in the other one, but we have three in this one, again, just for a little bit better crowd control. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to the house, get some more concrete, and I'm going to basically just build this all the way back to... Um, that block right there so that's how far back we're going to go and the reason we're going that far back is that that's basically um if we count it from here uh it's one two three four five blocks back so that way if not not that it matters so much i guess in the melee base but if I, you know, if I threw a pipe on or, or a grenade and it didn't get through and it landed right here, as long as we're five blocks back, we'll be safe. Uh, so I have enough room to clear that. Because I might still chuck a couple pipe bombs even, you know, in the melee base just to kind of, you know, clear some of them out. That's not really the main purpose of it, but, you know, it's always good to have options, right? 
Um, so yeah, so so we're going to basically build it back to there. Now this whole part over here is going to be the, the explosive pit base, which we almost certainly will not get built by Horde 28, but we'll have it ready for Horde 35. Okay, so I, I think you guys get the basic idea now. Uh, so I'm going to finish getting this built out, and then I'll bring you back, guys back with an update as usual uh, as we progress. See you in a bit with an update so uh, we're making pretty good progress here it's uh, almost night time though um, so yeah I've, I, I started using uh, cobblestone blocks and um, what I'm actually gonna do for the rest of the build is I'm gonna actually use wood blocks and then upgrade them to cobble and then to, to concrete the reason I started with the concrete blocks and then went to cobbles because I wasn't sure uh, how long this was gonna take and I've actually gotten you know made better progress than I thought I would and uh, so we're going to go wood to cobble to, to concrete because we'll get a hell of a lot more XP doing it that way. Uh, but anyway, we got this set up pretty good uh, for the melee base. So I still have a few more blocks to fill in, as you can see down there. Um, but you were, we're making really good progress. So we'll have no problem at all getting this done uh, for tomorrow night. And in fact, what we might even do is take some time tomorrow, maybe go do some looting. We haven't had a, a chance to do any looting at all. Uh, since we moved to the snowbound because every waking moment I've had I've been working on on the the house and now the base um, So let's just kind of chill for a second and see if any zombos come in um, If we don't get like 10 up at the same time You know we can we can take them out. It's just that sometimes Sometimes I just get a big rush of them because you know they can detect me from so far away but if it's just going to be onesie twosies, we might be able to stay here and work a little bit longer. Okay, let's um, let's just kind of just be vigilant here and see if we can get a little bit more done before we wrap up this episode. Okay, so let's do this. Uh, we're going to um, I want to save I don't know maybe ten of these blocks as just normal blocks, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go in here and. We want to go with plates, and then we're going to hold down R and tell it to copy the shape. Well, I guess we didn't need to do that. Um, yeah, let's do a copy rotation. Okay, so these are going to be the walls of our base. Um, and the purpose of these, of course, is to protect us from a cop spit and any zombies that might stand here and try and hit us, even though they probably wouldn't be able to from there. So we're going to put this on both sides. Uh, while the rotation is moving that direction, though, let's go ahead and get the third layer on, too. And as long as we just watch and make sure it doesn't, like, turn pink or whatever, uh, we know that SI is good. And it should be. Because we kind of learned that the hard way, didn't we? Okay, so now let's go copy rotation here. And we'll put the three high wall in on this side. Thought about putting bars in the middle so I could see out, but the problem with that, I think, is that if cops see us, and I, I'm not sure if they can see through bars or not. Well, I'm pretty sure they can actually see through bars. Uh, but if they see us, you know, then they're going to spit to the side, and we want to we want to minimize that as much as possible. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and get these upgraded. All right, got that done. Very good, very good. Okay, um, next thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to jump over here and we're going to put some bars in. So uh, I have to think... No, that should work, yeah. Okay, we should be able to put bars in. So let's go ahead and make some bars. So I guess we just use these, right? Not used to this new system, but I do like this new system. It's pretty cool. All right, so let's just go bars here. Um, yeah, okay. And then we're going to need to uh, probably just do an advanced rotation to get them the right direction. There we go. Okay, so do I want a bar there? Yeah, I think I do. Okay. Put those in. Okay, let's get those upgraded. All 
Excellent. Okay, we got buzzard protection. We've got buzzard protection. That's wonderful. Nice. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing that we did on the other base. It seemed to work. I never had a single time where zombos were able to uh, push through. Uh, so that means what we want to do is we want to use the quarter pulls. Just looking at some of these other shapes as possibilities. What does this look like? Hmm. Here. Let's go on face. Nope, that's not working. Okay, let's do an advanced rotation. What if we put that in there? I'm just thinking about some potential ideas here. Okay, and then uh, this one we want to... Hmm. Okay, yeah, this one we want to make a quarter block. Or actually, it's not a quarter block. It's a eighth of a block, maybe. Um, okay, and then advanced rotation. That's where we would put that normally. That doesn't really give us a lot of option for meleeing it through there, though. Even though it does block the block it a little bit better. I mean, we still could, but we'd really have to. You know, oh shit. <laughs> yeah, see, I don't think that's gonna work so well. Um, all right, let's see what are some other possibilities. I mean, this is what I had before, and it did definitely work. Um we're just kind of looking here. What are some other possibilities? There's this pole plate half. And half sheet. Half sheet though, that's I don't think that's what we want. What does this look like? Um I don't think that's gonna do anything for us. I mean we could rotate it so that it's on edge, but I think we're gonna have the same problem as before where when we go to try and do a melee if there's like a spider or a dog down there we're gonna end up hitting it yeah okay yeah that's not gonna work all right so let's just go copy this guy and copy the rotation on this guy and just do that now I guess the other thing I could do is I could just put bars in there then we never have to worry about anything crawling through and just use shotguns for anything down lower um, I mean, because from th this point forward, we're always going to have a shotgun and plenty of shells. So that's another possibility. And just melee the taller zombies. I think what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to leave it this way. And until I see evidence that they can still get through here, um, we'll just run with this. Because this just gives me more room to melee. And like I said, if, if it becomes apparent that they can still squeeze through there, then at that point... We'll, um, you know, we'll go to plan B or whatever. Okay, now, for this upper area, all we really, I think, need to do is maybe just even put another bar in there. Um, or even a solid block, because if there's, if there's a cop out there and he can see us through here, he, he'll do like a head-on spit. And he, he can still do that anyway, but... He'd have to get closer if he doesn't have a good line of sight to us. So why don't we do this, copy shape, and how did it get so damn dark all of a sudden? Oh, did I turn my flashlight off? <laughs> I don't know. Um. Oh, yeah, but you know what? That's right. That's not going to go in there unless we put it on the front. Because this is actually pointing downwards. Um. Okay. Let's. We're gonna have to rethink this. 
Oh, you know what? Oh, I guess that's concrete, isn't it? <laughs> um, isn't there? There's like an, an angle version of this now, isn't there? That would be just perfect. I mean, it's not going to... Hmm. It's not going to stop the coppers from seeing us further out, though. I mean, how much of a big deal is that? It may not matter at all the more I think about it, because even if we put something solid in there, it's only going to come down to there, and we're still visible all the way out to the horizon. So, yeah, okay. Let's try that angle piece. I think that will actually work really well here. Okay, so we want to go here and uh, here. Man, there's so many cool new shapes. Uh, and we want this bar's corner. What's that? Oh, that's railing corner. Yeah, this is exactly what we want. Okay, so we just got to get it going the right direction. So let's do advanced rotation. Just like that. This is awesome, man. I love this. There we go. Okay. Beautiful. So we have a nice little hole to melee through. We can also melee down there and hit spider faces if we need to. And um, like I said, if, if stuff gets through, I mean, we'll have our AK and our, our shotgun to deal with that if it does happen. But as long as I don't see anything ever get through here, this, this is the best setup for melee because it gives us the most clearance, but still should theoretically, you know, block the zombies from coming through. Okay, I'm liking this. Um, the other thing, I guess, is if we wanted to, we could, we could go out this way. We could double up on that block just to give us a little extra something something there so let's copy that and then uh, we're going to is this still on advanced rotation yeah I think it is put it like that okay and we might even be able to here, let's get up on these things so the zombies can get here. I wonder if that would help them stand here better. Not that that's necessarily a bad thing, because then I can hit them, you know? Yeah. Now, one thing we could also possibly do here to reinforce it even more is go back to here and get one of these little tiny corner thingamadoodles like this. A pole corner. Uh, pole corner. Is there something even smaller than that? A plate. Is there like a plate corner? Eh. That might be what we're looking for. I think that's... No, that's too big. Man, I love these shapes though, man. These are just as awesome. Okay, so I think probably this is the closest thing we're going to find because this is going to stick down too far. Yeah. Yeah, okay, let's go with this. And and what this is doing, if, if it isn't obvious, is it's sticking to the side of that, so it's giving this support. On the off chance, though still possible chance, that the inside block got destroyed before the outside block got destroyed. Not likely to happen, but possible. Because I have seen it, seen it where the inside block actually takes more damage than the outside one. Seems kind of odd, but yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, I think we're in pretty good shape then here. If we want... Um, I'm wondering if we wanted to double up on that, though. Before we do that, I, I need to see what the clearance is going to be. Copy rotation. Um, oh, no. It needs to go... 
Oh, it can't go there. Right. It can't go there. Okay, because it's sticking up. Gotcha. Okay. Just out of curiosity, though, what about this? Yeah, that doesn't really gain us anything. Yeah, okay. I think it's good the way it is. I think it's good the way it is. And if zombos do get through there, like I said, we're going to have our, wep our, our guns and we'll have plenty of ammo to deal with them. If it happens, I don't think it's going to happen a lot. So if it only happens on occasion, we should be okay. Okay, so for here, we're going to put in a door. Um, let's actually just make it a straight up iron door since we have iron on us. Because otherwise, well, actually, let's not. We'll upgrade it and we'll get a little bit more XP. Okay, so I'm going to put this door here. Just trying to think, do I want it going inward or outward? I guess it doesn't really matter. Let me try it the other way just to see, because I kind of was envisioning it coming outward. Ooh, yeah, see, it, it's pink, so it's not going to like that. Okay, that's fine. That's the way it'll be then. I thought it would rest on that plate, but apparently it doesn't like that. Huh, interesting. Okay, let's get this upgraded. Ah, shit, we need some scrap iron. Um... How much do we get if we scrap two of these? 15, is that going to be enough? We'll see. Oh, now we have to make the actual iron door. Right, okay. Okay, so yeah, um, I think we're golden. If we wanted to, and I don't see any reason not to, we could put that um, corner piece bar in here too. So whilst we're waiting for the door, let's redo this one. I just had a thought. Just had a thought. I wish I would have had that thought before I, I broke that bar out, but what if we were to put a chest up here in this corner we'd have to or we would want to put a plate behind it so that it's protected from cop spit on this side um so let's copy that and then copy that rotation down there Okay, so it's not going to fit on top of the door sill. Okay, that's fine. Because what we can try and do then is let's do this. Let's go to shapes. And we had those really, really skinny shapes. That's a quarter sheet. Uh, yeah, these things here. So, this is pillar double. Uh, maybe this one. So, if we could put this... Oh, no, that is... That's not going to... We can do this, but we're going to have to do it individually. Right, okay, so let's get the... Uh, this one here, I think. What's that? That's the quarter. I, I mean, we could probably use the quarter, too. I don't think it matters, but... Yeah, let's get this one here. And put it like that. And then this one goes there. Okay. Now we should be able to put a plate in there. Uh, let's see. Copy rotation. Like that. Okay. Get 
this upgraded. Okay. Get this upgraded. Beautiful. Okay. And now we just put this back in. Yeah, it's too, too bad I didn't think about this before I broke it out, but that's okay. I just got to get it the right uh, rotation. Actually, here, copy rotation. Do, 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 copy rotation. There we go. All right, cool. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. We still have a problem. We can't put this one in. Because it can't be facing down. So I'm going to make the big storage chest, but I have to have nails. So let's just pretend that's the storage chest for now. There is a possibility that it could get damaged, though, from cop spit coming through this way. The bars might block that to some extent, though. So we'll just have to keep an eye on it. We'll just have to keep an eye on it. Okay, so what we have to do in this case, then, is we need to go up top side. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> we don't want that to happen on Horde Night. Uh, that's what we're, we're going to put... I'm going to put in those um, hatches. In fact, let's do that right... Oh, no, we can't because... Ooh, yeah, we can't do that. Um... Okay, getting in's not a problem. Getting out is tricky. Oh, shit. All right, we're probably going to have to bridge that with some frames. Because I can't jump to clear that. No, we can't bridge it with... Well, yeah, we can. we got to figure this out now. Not not on Horde Night, right? Uh, what we'll have to do is just this. And then doop. And then jump. Okay. Yeah, that's how we'll have to get out of there. Um, hmm. Okay. Yeah, we can we can do that. Oh, we got out that time. Interesting. Okay, let's get up here. And what we're going to have to do here is... I guess we could double bar this. We don't really need to, per se, but... If we do, it just gives us that much more protection. Um, but here, we need to put a plate. All right, so let's go. Change block. And. Oh, that's what I want. Yeah, just like that. Okay. So that'll protect the, the chest underneath. And it's actually attached to, well, it's attached to this bar here. Yeah, we don't need double bars up here, but why not, right? We got the resources. Get a little more XP from doing it, so we'll, we'll do it. I mean, we will eventually be dealing with boss vultures, right? So. Okay. If I really wanted to get... Um... Jiggy with it. <laughs> uh, we could put... That way on the off chance, if uh, this top bar actually was broken, this still has supports. That's, again, I don't think that was super necessary, but we did it anyway, and there you go. Um, okay, so now... Since we doubled up the bars, we might as well double them up in the front, too, right? Uh, so what we want to do is... Get back up there for a minute. And just copy this block. I really love that copy shape option. Uh, that was in, like, I think Undead Legacy. And maybe it was in... Um, Raveners, I can't remember, but very useful. What happens if we do an on face there? No, that's not what we want. Okay, let's do an advanced rotation. There, so we got double bars there. We got double 
quarter poles there with supports on the outside. And I think we're I think we're in good shape, man. I think we're in really good shape here. Okay, so the only thing that's really left to do is I just got to get those upgraded to concrete, get the rest of that filled in and upgraded to concrete, and then uh, we're ready to go. Oh, and I have to bring a storage chest out here. We're ready to go with this horde base, and I think it's going to work great. And then what I'll do, you know, for horde 35, can I make this? Yeah, it's just, you have like just a tiny, uh, tiny opportunity there to get that jump off before you start falling. But anyway, um, yeah, so, so for horde 35, what we're going to do is we're going to dig this side out and make it a pit too like this um however i don't want the zombies in that pit to come up into this one and then come back up the ramp i want them to be permanently trapped down there so the only way really to accomplish that i think is to make this pit a little bit deeper like maybe two to three blocks deeper so they can't escape it uh or you know we'll figure uh, or put a wall there or something we'll figure it out if we if we wall it up the ai probably won't you know, uh, the AI probably won't think they can break through to get up to that ramp. There's no way to really know for sure until we test it, though. Uh, but anyway, that's the plan. All right, you guys. Um, I'm going to let you go here. I'm going to spend the rest of today uh, finishing up this horde base. And uh, depending upon how our time goes, I'm we might start the next episode with a loot run. Maybe go do a quest if we have enough time. We'll just have to see how things go. If I don't feel like we have enough time, then we'll start the next episode at the beginning of Horde Night 28. And I think it's going to, I think we're going to do good. I, I'm, I'm not, uh, I'm not really concerned. I hope I don't need to be concerned, <laughs> uh, but I think this base is going to hold up uh, pretty good and do well. This is going to be a really good melee base for us. All right, you guys, that is it for this episode. Uh, if you enjoyed the episode, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and share out the video and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.